Hey guys, it's Desiree. This video is going to be a little different from my previous videos. Usually I try to just get through things and go fast, but I feel like this video deserves like uh, the whole experience. Yesterday, Saturday, um, I went to the Houston Horror Film Fest and I got some autographs from some celebrities for myself and for uh, two of my friends. And I just want to like walk through yesterday on video because it was just like amazing day. Like probably like, top 10 of the amazing days that I've had in my whole life. Like it was just that good. This first thing didn't come from the film fest, but my friend sent it as a, like a thank you for getting his stuff signed. So he sent me this uh, Halloween Kills signed by Douglas Tate. So I thought that was pretty nice. Super appreciative of him for doing that. He didn't have to, I told him. Anyway, um, me and my kid went and we were standing in line to get our wristbands to get into the event. And we're just standing there and people were walking back and forth uh, along the line and I saw Don Yeso walking and he is the bus driver from Hocus Pocus and I must have had like the biggest smile on my face when I saw him because he like stopped mid-walk and it's like a long huge line of people. He stopped mid-walk and was like hi how are you and I was just like oh my god I'm good like and he almost started to continue to walk, but then he's like, he kind of turned back around and he was like, hi, I'm Dawn, you know, like, this is my first convention and all this kind of stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God, that's awesome. I'm, I'm going to be at your table later. And he's like, oh, you are? I'm like, yeah, I got my stuff in my bag to sign. So we get our wristbands and we go get in line to go get in the rooms. Why am I blurry? Sorry, guys. Let's see if I can fix it. Yeah, the bar. Anyway, um, so we go in, and when I go in the room, his table is the first one. And so I'm like, well, I might as well just go and get him now. So I pull out my Hocus Pocus, and I'm like, I told you I was coming to your table. And he's like, I'm, yeah, you did. And he's like, uh, this is awesome. He's like, you're my first um, autograph at my first convention. And I'm like, that's so cool. So, um, I have this Hocus Pocus piece, and I've had different people added to it. I got him added to it right here under uh, Thora Birch, and I had him put, it's hard to see on camera, but it looks better in person. I had him put a uh, bubble, bubble, I'm in trouble. Oh, there we go. It's in silver. So, um, overall experience with him, like 10 out of 10, super nice guy. Uh, this next one. I'm not going to go in order of how I got them because I'm going to show my things first and then my friends and I just kind of went table to table of what I was able to get when I was able to get it. So this one is uh, Mannequin 2 on the move. I got it printed out by someone I met in the horror community. His name was Benjamin. He got it printed out for me and uh, we met at the con and he gave it to me to get uh, William Ragsdale which is the main guy to sign it. And I had him put, you're real. And then he put his uh, character name, Jason. And JSA was also at the event. So $10 and they would start your autograph for you. Um, I'm hoping to add Christy Swanson to this one. William was a doll. He even was just talking, chatting. And when we took our selfie together, he's like, cuddled up on me like super awesome um I just can't like express how awesome the celebrities were the vendors the people attending that had nothing like to do with the event happening the people like me that were there everyone was just like super considerate of everybody helping out like complimenting each other like it was just awesome awesome environment I love it so much this next one is probably the one I was most excited about getting. And I will say I was a little bit nervous to meet her because 
in the movies that I've seen her in, she plays like the evil villainish kind of character. And so I was like, is she really nice in real life? Is she kind of, you know, like, here's your autograph, thanks, bye, whatever. But she actually carried on conversations with people. She seemed really genuine. She was super funny and super nice. Uh, this is my Casper piece. And I added Kathy to it. And she did the little quote for me, which is not kid-friendly, so I won't say it, but you can read it right there. And she even made super sure that she didn't go over Christina's uh, autograph. She wrote over the Beckett sticker, but I don't really care about that. It's not like it's leaving me ever. <laughs> but yeah, super excited to meet her. I even told her, I was like, you're basically the reason that I was like, yes, I'm going this year. I love the convention. This is my second time to do that one. But um, I was going to go, but when I saw her on the list, I was like, I am going to meet her. Like, that was why I wanted to go so bad. Uh, this next one, I got one of my friends to put together for me so that I'd have something cool for him to sign. Uh, it's Harry Manfredini from, um, he did, he composed the music for the Friday the 13th movies. And so I had my friend do like a, a um, what do you call that? A, what are like a water mark in the background with the Jason character? Uh, and then, the, uh, the music score for the opening of Friday the 13th. And then he signs, he's got like the coolest autograph ever. He does the um, the staff with the music notes, and then his name is pretty cool, how he writes it. I, even, I complimented him on that. I'm like, you have one of the coolest autographs out of everybody. Okay, uh, these are what I got signed for my friends, and I double-checked with both of them to make sure it was okay to put it on this video because one of them actually has a YouTube channel, but he's like, go for it, so... Uh, this one I got signed by two people for my friend Arthur. It's, um, I guess it's House of a Thousand Corpses. It's in a different language. Not only speak English, so no. Uh, I had Jennifer Jostin added up here at the top, and he wanted to get Walter Phelan, Dr. Satan over there. Um, as far as quotes, character name, everybody that I encountered was super cool with it, which is awesome. Um, Jennifer Jostin, I will say, me and her, like, right when I went up to her table and we met for the first time, it felt like we had, like, this weird connection. And I know that sounds weird saying because we met for the first time, but even she mentioned it to me. Like, I feel like we know each other is what she told me. She's like, I feel like I've seen you before. I feel like you're so familiar to me. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure we've never met before, but I felt that same way with her, like, super comfortable, and she was just, like, so genuine, and she seems like a really caring and nice person. Like, she actually was listening to what I said, and when I, I would ask her questions, she would give me, you know, her genuine answers, and we were like, it was just weird, like a weird, weird connection. So... I wasn't planning on meeting her. The only reason I did meet her is because my friends wanted her autograph on their items. And I'm really, really glad I did end up going to her table because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have known what I would have missed out on. But it was just an amazing interaction that I never thought I was going to have. Um, this next one is also my friend Arthur's. It is... Um, I think it's like a laser disc sleeve. Yeah. And it's a nightmare on Elm Street to Freddy's Revenge. I had it signed by uh, Mark Patton. And it says, I've got blood on my hands. He owns me. And he put his character named Jesse. Um, he was also very nice. We didn't talk a lot like I did with other people. Mostly because he had a line behind me and also because um, I just get like, I sometimes I forget what to say to them or that kind of stuff. Like if I 
don't, I mean, I know his work, but I didn't have any questions for him. So our conversation was pretty short. Like we just, uh, yeah, just forget what, I, whatever. Uh, this next thing is, um, for Arthur as well. I got Jill Sholin added to his popcorn poster. So we already had Dee Wallace and I got Jill added up here and she put her character name Maggie. If you guys haven't seen popcorn, um, a stranger calls again or, uh, what was the other one? The stepfather. I think it's like the 1970s version. Those are all really, really good movies. They all have Jill in them. And I even told her, I was like, before this, I'd never heard of your movies or you. Just being honest, not being mean about it. And I'm like, after watching them, I'm like, you have a new fan in me. And she was just like, she seemed super grateful. She's like, oh, that's so sweet. Like, just everybody was so, so nice. Including this next person. Um, my friend Arthur is a fan of Fright Night. As you can see, he's had a bunch of people already added to this picture. So I added Amanda Bierce to it. Uh, you might know her from like Married with Children. But uh, he had her put, Don't You Want Me Anymore? And she put her character name, Amy Peterson. So she signed it right there in blue, just like he wanted. And she was super friendly. Um, her and William's table were next to each other because they were in Fright Night together. And so they were kind of playing off of each other as well while they were signing and taking pictures with people. So they were both super nice. I just realized I forgot to get my other friend's stuff out of his uh, envelope. I'd already put it back in. So just give me one second. I hadn't planned on showing these because I figured he'd want to do it in his own video, but he gave me the go-ahead, so we're going to do it. All right, this piece I had signed for him is also a laser disc cover. It's uh, When a Stranger Calls Back that I mentioned earlier, and it's uh, signed by Jill Sholin, and he asked for me to ask for a quote, so I just recently watched the movie for the first time, and I'm like this sounds like a good quote so I had her write go away leave me alone please and sh as she was writing it she said it just like she said it in the movie what like how many years ago was that like 50 years ago almost that's crazy to think about but she like she was super into it oh no this movie was made in 93 it was the other one that I was talking about but yeah, like, she remembers it still to this day, I guess, because it's, it gets burned in your memory or whatever. But like, it was super cool to see her reenact it to herself, but also out loud so that I could hear her say it. And it was just, I don't know, it was a cool moment for me. Uh, this one is uh, House of a Thousand Corpses also for my friend, um... Uh, I didn't say who my friend was. Eric, uh, his name is Uneasy Andy on YouTube. You should check him out. Um, I got Jennifer Johnston to sign this for him. It says, hey, how about we skip the murder ride? And then she put her character named Mary. Then, let's see. I got John Abrahams for him on Kids. And he signed it right over there. Uh, I didn't realize it until I'd already left, which I'm very, very sorry to Eric. He's been super cool about it. But John didn't write the full quote. He put, when you're not much matters, but he was supposed to put, when you're young, not much matters. So, I felt really bad. Um, I mean, there's not I can't do anything about it, but I wish I would have thought to double check any of the quotes that were written. I think everything else came out really good, thankfully. I was worried that I wasn't going to get all of the autographs because usually I just go for myself and I never like, um, this is the first time I've gotten autographs for other people. So I didn't know if I was going to have time because I only went for the one day, but 
I got him knocked out pretty quickly and still had the joy of interacting with the um, celebrities. So it was awesome. This one is also Eric's. It's Halloween Kills. And I had Carmella McNeil added to it. She put, I'm a doctor. My husband is a nurse. And then her character named Vanessa. And then I got Tom Jones Jr. added to it for him as well. And it said, did Michael kill again? And then he put Dr. Loomis 78 underneath it. Looks like he's already had it signed by Douglas Tate. And somebody else under the sticky note, but I can't see it right now. Um, and then I had Terry McMinn sign his uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre right here at the top. She put a little heart. Oh, it's got a glare. And she put her name Pam. She was super nice and talkative. Um, she told me to tag her in any photos that we took together. And Let's see. I did go and talk to some of the celebrities that I didn't get autographs from. Just because I usually, not because I usually feel bad, but when I see people that don't have anybody in their lines at their tables, I do feel bad. But that's not really the reason I went out to talk to them. It was because I had enjoyed something that they worked on, worked in. And I wanted to let them know that just because I wasn't going up to their table asking for an autograph that I still enjoyed something that they were in. And they all had positive uh, feedback with it. They were super grateful, uh, super thankful. Like, they just sort of like, thank you so much for, you know, coming and telling me that. You know, I could have just walked by and just left them alone or whatever. But I feel like everybody that attends is, like, not sure what the, to expect. But every review I've read from anybody that went was like this was the most amazing show that I've attended or it was their first time attending and they didn't know what to expect and they're like it was awesome like I haven't seen any negative feedback out of all of the stuff that I read like I followed it just to see if everybody had a great time like I did and it seems like it was universal um last year I went and saw all of these people that I had met last year that had worked the event and it's like we become one family like a little family of film fest attendees it's it's cool uh there was some people in a line that i saw it was a man his wife and their son and they had their daughter new baby daughter with them well last year she was pregnant with the baby and i remember them because they wore the same jean jackets this year and I'm like, I was standing in line behind you for Felissa, and she still had the baby in her tummy, and they were talking about the baby being born. Well, this year, the baby's actually born, and they brought the baby, so it was really cool to be able to be like, yeah, I remember you, and that's awesome that the baby's here now, and like, so the baby gets to be part of the experience as well. Um, one of my friends, I call her a friend because she's my friend now. She was one of the handlers that takes the money at the celebrity table. Well, this year she has her own vendor booth. So I made sure to go by and I hung out with her for quite a bit when we weren't getting autographs and walking around. Um, so that was cool. Um, I got, I bought something from her, um, her table, you know, in support, but she has some cool things. Uh, her, her company how would you say that her business is called Kaylee Creates and I can put um, that information in the description after I'm done with this um, I ran into another familiar face from last year her name's Natasha and she's super nice super cool chick it's just like I don't know like amazing experience and I uh, I can't stop talking about it. <laughs> I've told my family a few times, like, just how awesome it was. And I really hope to be able to bring my niece with me next year because she loves horror like I do. And 
just continue the tradition and hopefully it just keeps getting better and better but I don't know how it would get better because it was so great to begin with um yeah I'm gonna stop I think I'm like 20 minutes in <laughs> if you stayed with me for this long I mean thanks for listening but yeah I won't um I won't go on and on and on anymore I think I covered most of everything that I was going to say, hopefully. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you follow me on Instagram or are friends with me on Facebook, I posted pictures of me with the celebrities. So if you want to check those out, um, I'll put my Instagram name in the description as well. And yeah, so... I had a great weekend, and I hope you did too. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys.